this this idea of exoticism this this word really crystallized for me the the idea of pulling in these exterior elements to to add a novelty to add a freshness but without stripping away what is me to pretend that I am something else precisely people who are satisfied in and of themselves are living a life of fulfillment might want something to enrich that and it's not a problem to look to other cultures for something that could be used to be exciting it's been done musically as you mentioned you know we talk about exotica and martin denny but that goes all the way back to when uh, Beethoven would use uh, Turkish symbols and a bass drum in the Ode to Joy in the finale of the Ninth Symphony. That was Turkish Janissary music that was used by you know, soldiers. But here suddenly this aspect of exoticism was being used for him to create this, this extra interest, this idea that he suddenly broader reaching because part of the concept of that symphony is to include everything, all men involved in this and in this, some kind of, you know, overreaching transcendentalism. So one can then always use that to other aspects of existence. It, it's not just musical. It can happen with food. Uh, Polynesian restaurants were a big vogue at the same time when, when that exoticism was happening. But I think that, that for Satanists, for ritual, it's particularly appropriate because we are a meta-tribe. We come from many different cultures because we're a type of human being that's unique, this carnal, by nature, existing human. It's a subset of our species that's definitely not something that's universal. For us, we can look to whatever came in the past and the present. We can posit what might come in the future. We can create it. But we extract what we like that excites our imagination and use that as an adornment, as an elaboration of, and a celebration of who we are. It can amplify our self-satisfaction. Spiritual people will leap into other religions and try to purge themselves, whatever their cultural background is, their heritage there. They try, it's, it's, I've got to put on the hair shirt of trying to eat grubs by going into this kind of, you know, island civilization or, you know, I'll, I'll you know, shave my head, you know, when I actually like my hair and wouldn't want to just because some people in some other country do that for, for this religion. They're flagellating themselves to try to purge who they really are, to try to become something else because they're, they have no self-satisfaction. We who are satisfied with ourselves find the whole world a smorgasbord of ideas that we can adapt to our own usage. And it is all part of our self-deification and celebration.